Like any good keyboard player, I've always admired amazing guitar players and really study their playing to see like what makes the expression, what makes you know each one of these incredible guys special. And it's very much to me about the control of pitch and amplitude. Of course, tone as well. But once you start controlling pitch and amplitude effectively, you've got a lot there. So on GeoShred, we set out to uh, give you a lot of control over that. On this patch, number 28, called Beckish, what's happening is that when you press on a note, it's in absolute mode. So wherever you press in the throw of a note, you can either get nothing, like no volume, or if you press at the top, you'll get it to sound. So you can choose like the starting volume and how you want to fade it in as well. So you play in the middle, you'll have sound and you can fade it out, or you can fade it up. And as you fade it up from the middle, it's driving it into the, to the uh, distortion effect a little bit as well, which is cool. So you get this sound from the bottom. But this sound, unlike some of the others, you can play like at the top and get it to really articulate. But at any point along, you can be playing and decide to, to like fade in a note like this, perhaps. There's a lot of flexibility at the top as well. Um, something you can do is put on the wah pedal enable, and then your slider here is your is your wah. So and you could do the wah on the Y, but I decided you're doing other things on the Y axis. Putting it there was kind of cool. Mono intervals. Add some octaves and some intervals to the sound. The tambura jive thing. So you're basically adding a bridge to this, which gets very interesting. I love that. It's very, uh, very interesting sonically. So the second harmonic. So you can be playing along, you know. And the sitar bridge enable that's on here is very subtle. If you hold a note and kind of toggle that, it's a little bit like almost toggling your pickup. But between all that, a lot of flexibility in that patch.